Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here and today I'm doing a little book haul. It's just a little one of some of the books that I've received recently. There is the book that I got from Janet and there is a book I got in a book box and there is also a book that I was sent for review. So let's first start with the book that Janet got me. This month Janet couldn't have picked a better book. She's picked me up Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I really loved Uprooted and I really wanted to get to this second book. I'm not sure if it is complete follow-on or whether it is just set in the same uh, world I think it might be a follow-on um, it's talking about Miriam is a daughter and granddaughter of money lenders her father is too kind-hearted to collect debts they face poverty until Miriam hardens her own heart and takes up his work in the village her success creates rumors that she can turn silver into gold which attracts the fairy king of winter himself he sets her an impossible challenge and if she fails she'll die yet if she triumphs it may mean a fate worse than death and in her desperate attempts to succeed Miriam unwittingly spins a web that draws in the unhappy daughter of a lord um, this just uh, sounds brilliant. I love the story of sort of Rumpelstiltskin and this spinning um, spinning hay or straw into gold. I just think this sounds brilliant and I really, really enjoy Naomi Novik's writing so I think I'm going to love this one. So thank you, Janet, for this. The book that I've been sent for review is uh, from Orion Books and it is Anarchy by Megan DeVos. I loved the idea of this, A, because it says the Hunger Games meets the road, um, which sounds brilliant. Um, and yeah it's book one in a series which I sa sounds good and it says rival factions are fighting each other for survival with no loyalty to anyone but their own at 21 Hayden has taken over Blackwing and is one of the youngest leaders in the area in protecting his camp from starvation raids from other factions and the threat of being kidnapped he has enough to worry about before he finds Grace the daughter of the head of the rival camp Greystone Grace is slow to trust anyone much less the leader that she has been trained to kill I think this sounds like it's going to be a fun one um, so I'm really thankful that they've sent me this and I look forward to reading it. And then finally, I just wanted to talk about the book box that I got this month um, because I really loved the books that came in here. This is from my book box club box, which I really love. Um, and I met the ladies at Yauk recently and they were just as lovely in real life. Um, and oh, what a really great um, box this time. So it's sort of a witchy um, theme, I think. And there is a Hubble Bubble Toil and Trouble Bath Soak. So this is Epsom salts with mint jasmine fragrance oil um, organic dried peppermint, dried eucalyptus leaves and malva flower. Oh, I just think it smells really relaxing so I'm looking forward to using these. There's some little witchy earrings which I think look really cute. There is some Florix Flores Exponentia or a spell for wildflowers so there's a little packet of wildflowers here and my parents have a wildflower garden in their house in Dorset so I think we might take these with us. And then oh, this awesome um, sort of book canvas um, ke keeper, it keeps your book safe. It says on the back, books are uniquely portable magic, which is Stephen King. Um, and the front has got this beautiful picture on. It's got a nice little Velcro opener. You can put your book in there and then when you throw it in your bag, it's nice and safe. I love that. And the book that came this month was The Lost Witch by Melvin Burgess. Um, and I really like the cover of this. It's got a really sort of shiny, shimmery sheen on it. Um, and it says inside, B has started to hear and see things that no one else can. Creatures, voices, visions. Then strangers visit her and tell her she's different. She has the rare power of a witch. They warn B that she's being hunted. Her parents think she is hallucinating and needs help. All B wants to do is get on with her life and to get closer to Lars, the mysterious boy she has met at the skate park. But her life is in danger and she must break free the question is who can she trust um, I just think this sounds really good Melvin Burgess is a name that I have heard of he's written quite a few books I'm not sure if I've read any of them um, I've definitely heard of junk um, but I'm not sure that I've read any of his books so I'm looking forward to this one being my first and I'm really excited about this one so that is some of the books that I've got recently. Have you read any of these? Have you read any of Melvin Burgess's books? Uh, which of these are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments down below and let's chat as always. Bye for now booktube.